G'day, it's Darren from Everything Micro FPV. And today we're gonna to be having a look at a new freestyle frame, flight controller and ESC from Foxeer to see if they live up to the excellent reputation of their cameras, DigiSight excluded. This video is not sponsored and Foxeer only sent them to me after I paid for them with my own money. Hello darkness, my old friend. So let's check out what they've got. So, first of all, care package. Foxeer Reaper Mini. F722B2 flight controller, got some stickers. We have from Dowprop the new Cyclones, and I've got these in red. I chose red because Foxy tends to have red colors, and the Aura V2 freestyle frame. All right, so let's see what we've got. It is a really nice box, and we open that, we've got two battery straps. These look really, really nice. And there's some rubber there, which is pretty tactile. Battery pad. We've got the gray TPU. So arm mounts and lip mount. We've got our hardware. Oh, we've got our shrink wrap arms. GoPro mount, antenna and immortal T mount, motor wire covers for the arms, and top and bottom plate. So the Reaper Mini, four in one, 60 amp, three to eight S. This thing is an absolute beast. Um, this is a beast of a ESC and it's conformal coated, which is really nice. Um, what else do we have in here? We've got the box, We've got a capacitor, which is pretty standard, 35, 560 uh, microfarads. Very, very short wire to the flight controller and we've got our rubber grommets. And then we have our pigtail, which is 12 gauge. So that is pretty thick. That's gonna be fun to solder. And then from the flight controller, this is the F722 V2. And pretty much it. Got the flight controller and four rubber grommets and that's it. So that's in that box. So let's take a look at the specs of the flight controller. It's an F722 as you'd expect. Um, it is actually 2 to 6S compatible. It comes with four UARTs, 16 megabyte black box and a cam control pad that works natively with the Foxeer analog cameras. Uh, you can see it's 20 by 20. It comes with four millimeter holes so you can soft mount with M3 uh, stack bolts. Now there is a BMS version of this same flight controller which comes with uh, SDA and SCL pads for your GPS and compass. And it's also got a TBS crossfire to unify pass-through uh, pads for pit control. So if you are into racing, that is certainly the one to get. Now in terms of the ESC, this thing is an absolute beast of an ESC. Now this is a chunky ESC and this is obviously rated three to eight S uh, with 60 amp continuous current peak of 100 amps. And that in itself is absolute giant. It runs BL Heli 32. It's got 20 by 20 mounts um, that are four mils. So you can soft mount through uh, M3 bolts. And what I liked about this is the motor pads. They're quite sizable. So it's gonna be really nice to be able to mount. It's called the Reaper Mini 96K. So assuming it can run 96 kilohertz, but there's nothing in the specs on the Foxy website to actually confirm or deny that. I will neither confirm nor deny the facts of that story. But having a chat to a few people who've been working with Foxy on the development of these boards, it does run 96 kilohertz, but from all accounts, it isn't really noticeable. It runs BL32 as you'd expect and comes in at 13 and a half grams. Its dimensions are 40 and a half mils square and it's about five and a half mils thick. And as I said before, 20 by 20 mount. We're gonna get this built and see what it looks like as a finished product.
So I've just finished the build of the Foxy Aura with the Reaper and the F722 and it's come up really nice. In terms of the frame and, and how it went together, uh, the thing I didn't like was having to mount the Cadex Vista at the back with cable ties. I thought that was pretty average in terms of an experience. Uh, given they've put slots there, I would have thought that potentially give me drill spots to be able to mount my Vista in a 20 by 20. I understand they're trying to be versatile for a number of different use cases. They say the back can fit an air unit as well and you'd probably get your analog VTX in either a 30 by 30 or any 20 by 20 in there as well. In terms of the, the stack and the height, I do find it to be quite a tall build. Um, I would prefer it to be slammed. So that's the only sort of criticism. I'd like to see a slammed option, um, but overall pretty good build. It's quite big. Um, I've had to pull apart my Nazgul uh, in order to get the Vista out. The other thing I tend not to be a fan of is having the stack screws go through the bottom plate. I think, you know, that just passes through resonance, but we do have everything soft mounted in there. Um, I'm gonna order a proper GoPro mount uh, from the 3D printer, so my local FPV shop. So that way, you know, I understand the need for the generic one. The good thing is Foxy make all the TPU files on their website available for download. So that's pretty handy and yeah, I've got the Dow props on there, the new Cyclones. So we'll give this a fly tomorrow and see how it goes. In terms of the pin tune, I put Mark Spatz from the UAV Tech's default or recommended freestyle pin tune. And across a number of aggressive moves, I did get a lot of bounce back and basically the quad sort of destabilized and I think there was a lot of overshoots in it. Now I noticed the frame itself is very, very similar as I was building it to the iFlight Nazgul. So if you look at the bottom of these, it's very much the same thing. They're almost practically the same. The, the aura is a little bit longer uh, in terms of frame and the arms are a bit more tapered. But overall, the frame design is eerily similar. What I've done is I've taken the standard tune from the Nazgul and I've put it on the frame. Given that they're very similar, I would expect pretty much it to fly just like in Nazgul. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.